What do YouTube B Kelly back in with another banger? Today's video, y'all, I'm gonna be talking about my five NBA sleeper teams. Now, to give y'all a quick warning, my sleeper teams are teams that people are not expecting to win it all, but teams I think that are gonna make some noise in the playoffs or even when the season comes back if a team doesn't make the playoffs. Coming in at number five, I have the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat currently sit right now as the four seed in the Eastern Conference. Now, in Miami's last 10 games, Miami has gone six and four, which is just about average, a little above average if you ask me. But they have had some injury issues in those 10 games. Tyler Hero was out for most of those 10 games, except he came back for the final game before the season got postponed in 109 to 98 loss to the Charlotte Hornets. But Jimmy Butler got hurt and had to leave the Washington Wizards game, which was the game before they played the Hornets, due to a toe injury. But now, both of those guys are back to full health. Okay, let me tell you this real quick. The Miami Heat have the fourth hardest schedule in basketball right now, with the restart happening with the 22 teams in Orlando. Let's talk about that schedule just a little bit. And in my eyes, they only have one game that I know that they were for sure win without a doubt. And that's the Suns game. But let's talk about the rest of the schedule real quick. They play eight games. Their opponents they're going to play in Orlando are the Nuggets, the Raptors, Celtics, Bucks, Suns, Pacers, Thunder, and the Pacers again. But they're my number five team as my sleeper team because I think they can make some big noise. I mean, they got the players that can do it. I mean, they got Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, Duncan Robinson, Kendrick Nunn, Derek Jones Jr. has been showing out. A vet in Udonis Haslam and a guy who's won a finals MVP and has won some NBA championships in Andre Iguodala. Coming in at my number four spot, I have the Indiana Pacers. Currently, the Pacers are in the fifth place spot in the Eastern Conference and they have won seven of their last 10 games. The rest of their schedule consists of the 76ers, Wizards, Magic, Suns, Lakers, Heat, Rockets and the Heat again in the final game of the season. Even though they will be without Victor Oladipo, I feel like this is a squad to watch out for because DeMontis Sabonis, Malcolm Brogdon, Miles Turner, and TJ Warren have been balling out lately, and I expect some noise from them. Not to like go far in the playoffs, but you know, just to make some noise upset some people, win some games, and make some very good basketball to watch. Coming in at my number three spot, I have the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, the Memphis Grizzlies have been a surprise team lately. They have won six of their last 10 games, and they're currently the eighth seed in the West, which is a very tough and competitive conference, way tougher than the Eastern Conference. And not only that, they are three and a half games ahead of the current nine seed, which is the Portland Trailblazers. The Memphis Grizzlies schedule isn't the hardest, but it's not the easiest either, especially when they're trying to keep that eight seed spot. They play the Trailblazers, Spurs, Pelicans, Jazz, Thunder, Raptors, Celtics, and Bucks. Those last few games are very tough. Now, the Memphis Grizzlies are at my number three spot because they were hot before the whole season got postponed. They're maintaining that eight seed spot pretty well, and it seemed like they were going to be the eight seed with all the momentum they had. And I really like the way this team looks like in the future, and I like that how John Morant, Jaron Jackson Jr., Jonas Valachunas, Dylan Brooks, Justice Winslow have showed up for this team. And they have a lot of young depth, and they're just a pretty good, solid team that's not afraid to get down in the dirty work. Now, what I mean by that is that this team, to me, seems like they can make some noise right now. Even though I don't expect them getting out of round one, just, you know, make some teams' season go into limbo a little bit. Now, I will say this. I think the Memphis Grizzlies have some of the most amount of pressure on them when the NBA comes back because they got to fight to keep that eight seed spot. They're only three and a half games ahead of the nine seed right now. And the schedule is not the easiest, especially when they play some of those teams that are barely behind them fighting for that eight seed spot in the West. Coming in at my number two spot, I have the Oklahoma City Thunder. Right now, the Thunder currently sit at the number five seed in the Western Conference, but they're not that far off from the number three seed. And right before the season got postponed, they were on fire. They won the last eight of their 10 games. Now, even though this past offseason, some Thunder fans hopes went right out the window 
they got that fire right now. They got a bunch of good young prospects. And honestly, one of the more underrated players in my mind in the league and Chris Paul to lead their team, who I think is one of the best leaders in the NBA, and help that Thunder team be good immediately. Because when he's on the floor with them, they are playing amazing. And they're in every game they play in. And I think it looks really good for the Thunder right now. Now let's talk about the rest of their schedule. Right now, they're playing eight games like all the other teams. They play the Jazz, Nuggets, Lakers, Grizzlies, Wizards, Suns, Heat, and the Clippers. It's not the easiest schedule in the world, but I do see them winning some of those games. The biggest challenge for the Thunder right now is that they need to try to keep a fifth place seed or higher. They do not want to get too low. They do not want to lose too many games because if they get too low, they might have to play a team like the Nuggets or the Clippers in round one in the playoffs. Now, the reason for them to be in my number two spot is just really because of Chris Paul's leadership. Chris Paul has taken this team and has made them a team that's been very competitive in the West and have been more competitive when they had Russell Westbrook, if you really look at it. And I really like the way this team has developed with their young players such as Shea Gilgis Alexander and Dennis Schroeder. And not to mention, they have some very energetic players such as Lou Dort who has shown up out of nowhere this season and has played amazing and they have some defensive minded players on their team that I think of that will help out a lot in this comeback to the NBA. Coming in at my number one spot I have the New Orleans Pelicans. Right now the Pelicans sit as the number 10 seed in the Western Conference just three and a half games back from being the number eight seed and they have won five of their last 10 games. The Pelicans currently have the easiest remaining schedule when the NBA comes back. Let's talk about their schedule real quick. They play the Jazz, Clippers, Grizzlies, Kings, Wizards, Spurs, Kings, and the Magic. That is the easiest schedule in the NBA according to everybody right now. Now you may be wondering, why is this team my number one sleeper team? Here's why. They have the easiest schedule. J.J. Redick is back to full health. Their full team is back to full health, just like a lot of the other teams in the NBA. And not only that, the Lonzo and Zion connection is strong. Anytime they're on the floor together, they are in games, and they can win a lot of the games they're playing at. And not only that, the chemistry seems really good. And finally, Zion Williamson, who apparently is in the best shape of his life ever, might be coming back to the NBA in the best shape ever and apparently is shredded. And I've seen the photos recently, the dude is shredded. Especially when he came back to the NBA this season, dude looked a little overweight. And that's why they're my number one team. I think they could honestly take that 8 seed spot and even maybe take a game away from the Lakers if they're still the number one seed. If you guys like the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on the post notifications and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly is out.